Maybe you're planning on splashing it out on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day with a crown rack of pork or a prime rib. Maybe you're just gonna make a burger on next Tuesday night because we can and we grill all year round in the South. I've got the perfect wine pairing for you. It is Malbec and it is such a great quality for its price, especially this one, y'all. This one is the Catania Malbec. I'll show you the label here. I found it in the grocery store for about $18 and you can find it too. Let me tell you a little bit about the story of Malbec and then I'll tell you about the Catania Malbec itself. So first of all, Malbec is from the Bordeaux region of France and we know about Bordeaux, we've heard about it. It's one of the handful of blending grapes that can be used there. My favorite place to get Malbec though in France is another lesser known place and it's from the southeast, about 100 miles southeast from France in the region that contains the area called, or the appellation called Coors. So here it is. So Bordeaux would be right over here. So there's Coors, it's K-O-H-O-R-S. And the Malbec from there is deep and dark and inky, reflecting its grapes. And it's delicious. In fact, it's so deep, dark and inky colored that it's often called the black wine of Coors. Well, you can find that sometimes. It's not gonna be a weeknight wine. It's gonna be more probably than $20, $25, but try that one. But until you try that one, let's try this one. This one is from the Catania Winery in Argentina. So the Malbec grape got to Argentina in the mid 1800s. Um, it was brought there by a French agronomist through Chile from France Okay, and it was grown for about 100 plus years in Argentina as just another red grape. Now, enter Nicholas Catania, who decided to plant these Malbec grapes at high altitude and to focus on quality. It worked, people. He has not only been the decanter wine uh, person of the year, he's gotten accolades that you just can't believe. Well, now the Catania Winery is run by his daughter and a team of fabulous winemakers, including the head winemaker, Alejandro, who makes this yummy, yummy wine. So let's taste the Malbec together. So first of all, when I look at the color, it's a beautiful ruby color, uh, almost purple. It's so intense in color. And now I'm gonna swirl and smell it. Wow deep, dark, black cherries and plums. I get a little bit of wood or oaky flavor, but it just grabs my nose. So it's a very aromatic grape. Okay, good acidity. Remember acidity is good in wine because it helps balance wine with food. So nice medium to medium high acidity. I got some something going on and I check that on the back of either side of my tongue if my mouth is watering. Up underneath my front lip, when I run it up there, my teeth do feel like they need to be brushed. So that's where I tell tannins, another thing that helps balance the wine and keep fruit flavor over time. Those tannins are good medium high tannins and those come, remember, from stems and seeds and the black grapes are going to have lots of tannin in them. So that's where I can feel that my teeth need to be brushed a little bit. Great pairing with anything meaty uh, during the holiday season and great pairing for even my mushroom burgers, I gotta say. So I hope you enjoy Malbec. I hope you liked hearing the story behind it. Grab this bottle of Malbec. Think about it, people. When was the last time you bought a wine like a Cabernet Sauvignon or Syrah from one of the finest wineries in the world and paid less than $20 for it? That's what you're gonna get with this Malbec from Catania. Enjoy the holiday season. I'll look forward to seeing you next week with another weeknight wine. Cheers.